Now, what will it take for us to get that videotape? The end of the world. Just a question. Do you know what is a chemtrail? The what? A chemtrail. I do know what a chemtrail is. Yeah. And is it true? Uh, well, there's a big debate. Yeah. Are you filming me? Maybe. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, you want to go on record there. Okay. No, but uh, do you believe it? I don't think not. Um, well, I don't have enough information about that. Okay. Yeah, but because I saw a lot of videos on the internet, uh, and uh, it really looks uh, believable. Well, it's arguable both ways, I think. Yeah? <laughs> Depends on uh -huh. which side you're on, but... Yeah. But what is your personal um, opinion of it? I think there's part of truth. Part of truth, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we should investigate this, because when it's true, imagine... So many people they suffer of this. Of this. Okay. Yeah, it's a necessary evil, as you could say. Yeah. <laughs>
Chemtrail generator. Oh, let's make sure that that thing's working. Okay, let's go check this out. I got it. Oh, look at that. They're working. They're working. You can see the chemtrails coming out of the engines here. Look at that. I'm dying to take a picture oh, of that's my, cool. my neighbor. You got yet. So I can Chemtrail see. jam. doing a video. Chemtrail generators are on. And yeah, there it is. Look, you can see them. All right. That's you awesome. Would it's working. Yeah. One thing I did is I grabbed mine. I go wrong the basic guidelines. I got mine as an example every time, but this yeah. one I think I can go mine. Yeah. And, I mean, I mean, it's little things like after an exclamation point, you need two spaces, and then capital. But after a semicolon, only one space. Not like, where's that shit written? It isn't. It's just. It's, it's just. Just. It's, it's just not known. Tony Quill. Is that? It's not in Tony. Oh, probably, but it, no, it's cool. It's the the ER, look, when we go to ALS, yeah. when we do our EPR, not EPR, but our bolts over there. It is absolutely, without a doubt, not anything like the bolts you put on a real EPR. Really? The bolts over there are two lines. It's two uh, lines. Each bolt is two lines long, and it's like... We don't uh, do that. No.
occasionally the, mil the military will uh, put some substances into the atmosphere that are detected by our radar, our weather surveillance radar. It's a substance that's called chaff. The chaffs do look similar to the oncoming storm system, but they're actually an indication of an aircraft. We replayed the radar images from 8.40 a.m. Turns out several of those chaffs, or planes, were near the San Diego and Baja areas. Depending on how low and how fast, the planes could have created that sonic boom. Let's talk about military chaff. You may or may not have heard of this. Now, chaff is something that the aircraft are equipped with. It, it's a spray that they put out in the atmosphere to confuse ground radars. It's a protection uh, to against, say, the radar-guided missiles, okay? So when they're flying these test patterns, they'll chaff the sky, and it shows up on radars. Now, I was looking at my radar wondering, could it have been a flight pattern? Well, here's what happened. I called the National Weather Service, and something interesting here, they confirmed that this right here, this and this, are not rain. That was not rain on our radar. So this is not rain. What is it? Could it have been chaff? Well, we may never know. But that, uh, we've been dealing a lot with some military activity in terms of mm -hmm. chaff anyway, and that's something that I experienced for the first time yesterday. That was a whole lot of fun. And that's where the military just basically dumps uh, some of the, the, the tiny particles of plastic or mylar. Um, metal, mylar, into the atmosphere. And basically they do this when we do already have weather in the area because it's, it's been around since as long as uh, radar has been around because that's the shot from yesterday six o'clock show. What they do is try to confuse ground-based Doppler radar systems, and as Mark put it so kindly, ground-based meteorologists. And yes, ladies and gentlemen of the armed forces, it worked well. That's a shot of the mylar. That's a shot of the chaff, again, moving through the atmosphere yesterday. As you can see, a very distinctly different pattern from when a storm system would move through. Look at the sky this morning. It just doesn't look real. It's crazy. Isn't that really crazy? Got this on time lapse as well. It's like a painting. See how the different lines converging there?
Guys, look at the sun I have today. Tuesday, 2-20, 2018. Walpole Mass. I mean, really? This is what we're looking at today. I mean, when you look up at the sun, you don't see this, it's just bright. But when you record it, it's just crazy. This bath pulls toxins out of the body, improves muscle and nerve function, reduces inflammation and improves blood flow. Numerous cultures have used Epsom salts for millennia, due to the various beneficial properties. For body detox treatments, they are inexpensive and can be easily found. Their name comes from a bitter saline spring at Epsom in Surrey, England. This salt is different from others as it is a naturally occurring pure mineral compound of magnesium and sulfate, both of which offer potent health benefits and detox the entire organism. They are readily absorbed through the skin and enter the bloodstream. The skin is a porous membrane that absorbs them and removes the toxins. When added to bath water, these salts stimulate a process known as reverse osmosis, which eliminates salt and the dangerous toxins from the body, leaving space for the magnesium and sulfate to enter the system. Magnesium is extremely important for more than 325 enzymes, suits inflammation, enhances the function of nerves and muscles, boosts blood flow and the oxygenation throughout the entire body. Sulfates are needed for healthy skin, nervous tissues, and joints. This mixture removes toxins and aids build key protein molecules in the brain tissue and joints. The use of regular Epsom salt baths helps in the case of muscle pain, athlete's foot, toenail fungus, gout, sprains, and bruises, treats chronic diseases and pain, alleviate inflammation, detoxify the body, and regulate the mineral and sulfur balance in the body. Before the use of these salts, pregnant women, people with cardiovascular diseases, those with open burns or wounds of the body, and dehydrated individuals should consult a natural health physician. This is how to take an Epsom salt bath. You should schedule yourself for 40 minutes, as the body needs 20 minutes to eliminate toxins, and 20 more to absorb the minerals in the bath water. In a bath filled with warm water, add the Epsom salts in the amounts as listed below. Children under 60 pounds, add one half cup of salts to a standard size bath. People between 60 to 100 pounds, Add 1 cup of salts to a standard size bath. People between 100 to 150 pounds, add 1 and a half cup of salts to a standard size bath. People between 150 to 200 pounds, add 2 cups of salts to a standard size bath. For every 50 pounds larger, you should add 1 half cup of salt more. Additional tips. To boost the antioxidants benefits of the bath, add 1 half cup of olive oil, which is beneficial for the skin and contains polyphenols. Avoid soap since it will interfere with the detox process and the action of the minerals. Then, rest for 1-2 to two hours. In the case of arthritic joints, make sure you stay active as much as possible to protect the joints from congestion.